Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Thrive Pet Design. Today I'm going to be reviewing the MyFun Fish Tank. I wanted to talk about this one because I've seen, I've definitely seen people use it. If you look here, there are actually there are a lot of ratings, and while it's definitely not perfect, there are still people who are giving it good ratings. So I feel like it's important to talk about, and maybe to educate people who aren't aware of why I personally would not recommend this fish tank. Everything that I'm saying is a critique of the product and in my experience. This is just everything that I've seen through my experience with owning fish. And I have owned several fish. I breed fish. I have sold fish and shrimp to people. I sell plants. Um, definitely not as a living, but it's definitely like a hobby. <laughs> so that's my experience and expertise. So I think immediately what comes to me, and I think part of the appeal of this, is that it seemed to be as like a cleaning tank. So, from my understanding, it's that when you fill it up, it overflows into out and out, so you don't have to get like a gravel back or anything, which I can understand the appeal of that. Um, gravel backing and doing a lot of water changes can be really annoying and frustrating sometimes, especially. It's a lot of energy to do that, both physical and mentally. So I understand the appeal of this product, however, I don't personally agree with it. I think for something this size that is just extremely improper for fish, but I think for something of this size it's just really improper, and if you are unwilling to do any sort of water changes, then I don't think you should get a fish. Um, that is my base opinion. Like It's like how if you uh, are unable to figure out a way to walk your dog, whether you do it or someone else does it for you, I would not recommend a dog. There are basic needs that animals have, and... This is a tank that cannot provide those basic needs, which is why I would not recommend it. Because, while it may seem like it's serving the function of having water changes, the tank size overall is just too small. Okay, so it is one gallon. So I'm going to go through and explain why one gallon is inadequate for fish. One gallon is inadequate for fish because not only does it provide not enough swimming space, even betta fish, which are sold in usually... Um, 0.25 gallon cups um, in the pet store. Those are completely neglectful. Um, even if they didn't require much space for exercise and things, they definitely still require space for um, for their waste. Basically, water has a very specific chemistry to it, and fish produce waste, and they'll produce ammonia, which will be converted into nitrite, and then going into nitrate. So basically because of that, with this small volume of water, you'll see that the ammonia and the other chemicals won't be properly dispersed throughout the water and can, can lead to some serious ammonia burn and nitrate poisoning. So it's really big deal. Another reason also <laughs> that I would not recommend this tank because many fish are extremely active. Betta fish are very active species. They're not lazy the way that many people think they are. And I specifically bring up bettas because many people get this with the intention of bringing home a betta or a beta as you may know them. Um, <laughs> so I think that that's really important to bring up. They're not lazy. They're very active. I have a betta fish care guide I would can link. Um, for goldfish, goldfish produce a ton of waste. They produce so many nitrates. I would not recommend this tank for a goldfish. You may see them in fish bowls. This is an extremely neglectful product for goldfish. They produce too much waste, they get too big, and if you keep them in something like this, it is going to stunt their size, and they're going to be able to produce so much waste that this water change system without a gravel back is going to get really, really dirty and disgusting. Any other schooling species, danios, guppies, anything, I would not recommend this because with schooling or shoaling species, you need to have a certain number of them, and this tank cannot provide enough space to have that number, and then also, <laughs> you know, not have ammonia burn and nitrite poisoning. While you may not understand the damage that it's doing to your fish, um, more seasoned fish keepers can really tell. You know, you'll notice that loss of color. They won't really look as nice. They, you can definitely see the blackened gills from ammonia burn. And you can just kind of tell the lethargy. Most fish aren't lazy. Usually when they're kept in tanks like this, that can't be heated. They can't really be filtered. That's when you notice the really, really, really unhealthy signs and really the long-term effects that it will have on your fish. While your fish might do well for the first week that it's in here, I would you will not notice that in the long term. Uh, I w one gallons, I would not even put shrimp or snails in here. I would not. <laughs> it might be cute for a marimo moss ball, but I would anything beyond that. I would not recommend it. 
it's going to be providing a lackluster life. And I know there are so many better products. I understand that it's really difficult. Money is very difficult for a lot of people. But um, fish are definitely are living animals, and they're not like a backup cheap pet. And if you can't provide them a home for more than ten dollars, then I personally, I would not recommend a fish. You can buy a ten-gallon aquarium at Petco during the dollar per gallon sale for ten dollars. And well, you will need other decor and things. It's 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 forty-two cents cheaper. But I think my overall point remains consistent in that this product is far too small. It does not offer the enrichment that they really need. And I want to go through some of the reviews because a lot of people see here. I don't know if you noticed immediately when you look at this. That a lot of people enjoyed it and there were so few people that did not rate it that rated it um, negatively and uh, it was heartbreaking to see knowing that someone looked at this product right and they put their fish in but they put them in this container and they went my fish is having a good life in here um, when it's clearly that's not what happened so <laughs> with that <laughs> let's hop into the reviews so immediately what I noticed from this tank is that this clearly was for someone younger and even mentions in the review that it's for a five-year-old child and you know I mean you can tell from the decor and things and it's frustrating when you see products like this are very clearly marketed with the ease towards children it's really disappointing to look at this because it's lacking in decor I mean Betas love to have things to swim through to hide in um, my late Betta, he was, he had a great five gallon and the movement never stopped. And that, it makes me really sad seeing this one and knowing that that wasn't possible for this. But there's a lot of fish in this one. And I, I really get annoyed when the only thing negative about the review is when there's something that just didn't work about it. And I guess that makes sense when you're looking at reviews, but there was uh, no self-awareness here. There was no thought. There was no like education that happened when getting these fish. It's sad when, at the end of the day, what they care most about is this light that just never worked. And this one is awful, where the betta actually got stuck in the tube. And I'm just looking through all these and I can just like my it feels like my heart is breaking because I I know fish care and I don't know how these fish live through these. They're so sad. There's no enrichment in here. There's the leaves at the bottom, but bettas like to be at the top. They like to be floating. They like to be in the middle. This betta is not having a good life. It's unheated. Bettas cannot live in unheated tanks. They they require heat. They are not, they are a tropical species of fish. They come from Thailand. And I think at the end of the day, is the aesthetic more important than the life that lives in it? And I think that there's only one right answer to that question. And if you answer the other one, I think maybe I would reconsider a bit of what you find important. I think there can be some overlap always, but is isn't the fish what comes first or are you buying a tank to take care of and to me i think that's what is my frustration with these ads because they are for the fish right these ta tanks should be for the fish but when it comes down to it the people are buying tanks are bought for the people now and that's why this is so popular because it's small it's cheap. It says it comes with everything that you need. And that's just simply not true. And there is more to better care than a self-changing tank. And <laughs> this tank is not as fun as it advertises itself to me. And I think people might want to think a bit more critically next time that they are bringing home an animal and then looking at the world outside, you might wonder, is this the right thing to do?